Here are a few key upgrades you can make to your Lenovo T40 to help boost performance. If you bought your laptop with the least amount of RAM, chances are it should still have an open DIMM slot. After removing the battery, unscrew the back panel with a small Phillips head screwdriver. Pull the cover off and set it to the side. Some people will suggest you match the exact manufacturer of the RAM. This isn't a bad idea, but I didn't have a problem buying the cheapest 4GB stick. As long as it's DDR3-1333 speed, you should be fine. Put the RAM in at an angle, and just push down until it snaps in. It should be secure and not move around. Put the cover plate back on and that's it, you're done. Next I replace the primary hard drive with a solid state disk. Unscrew the side plate and remove the panel to access the hard drive. It comes off easiest if you pull it by the top corner where the screw is. Pull on the ribbon and the hard drive and rubber rails should come right out. I went with the crucial M4 128GB solid state as my main drive. I've used them before and had good luck so I thought I'd use it again. You should be aware that there are two sizes of hard drives that can come with this laptop. 7mm and a 9.5mm. Mine came with a 7mm so they won't fit my 9.5mm solid state. You can always hollow them out but they do sell extra rails on eBay for 3 or 4 bucks. Just push the new hard drive in and reattach the panel and you're done. I went with a dual hard drive configuration to get the speed of a solid state and the little extra storage on the side. You can buy a caddy from Lenovo but they're 50 or 60 bucks. So I bought this third party one off of Amazon. Press the unlock and the eject slide to get your existing DVD drive out. There seem to be a few different sizes of these caddies, so make sure you get the 12.7mm. That one will fit the T420. Otherwise it'll work, but you'll be left with a gap. There was a cheap $10 caddy, but I went with this $20 one because it has the eject tab. $10 one didn't seem to have that from the picture, and I wasn't sure how easy it would be to get out. Take the Lenovo hard drive you just took out, and put it into the caddy. Mine took a little push to snap in. Your hard drive should now be secure. Just slide the caddy back into your DVD bay and you're good to go. Since I'm using the solid state as a system drive, I can always eject this guy and put the DVD in if I need it. 